We live in a three-dimensional universe with the potential for three-dimensional shapes. But where did the information come from for the first geometrical shape? In this theory, information is formed by a natural geometrical process of energy exchange. This is a very simple process that we can actually see unfolding in these images from the International Space Station with light in the form of a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere. The interior of a sphere will form three-dimensional space with the information that we call pi, the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. We see here that the mathematical constant pi is formed by a geometrical process. Also, the momentum of the light will always be at right angles to the surface of the sphere. With this information of right angles, we can have right angle triangles and the potential for Thagoras theorem that is a fundamental part of the time dilation of Einstein's relativity. Also, because of the dynamic geometry of this process, electric and magnetic fields are always at right angles to each other. There is even more fundamental information that is formed naturally out of this process, and that is the movement of positive and negative charge. We have the convex outer surface of the sphere forming positive charge and the concaved inner surface of the sphere forming negative charge. Because electric charge is an innate part of all matter, whenever the atoms touch it is charge that makes contact, and when the atoms bond and break there is an exchange of charge we have the organization and distribution of charge relative to the membrane of each living cell within our body. Therefore, this natural geometrical process forms the information for all physical and biological systems. But there is something else that is needed for the information that we have all around us in our everyday life, and that is randomness of what might happen. Information reduces uncertainty. The uncertainty of an event is measured by its probability of occurrence and is inversely proportional to that. The more uncertain an event, the more information is required to resolve the uncertainty of that event. In this theory, the randomness is formed by this dynamic process because there is uncertainty of where the light wave will come in contact with an external object. This uncertainty is relative to the surface area of the sphere. Note that it is the surface area, not the intensity or the volume of the sphere. This is because the two-dimensional surface of the sphere is forming a boundary condition with the information encoded by the movement of positive and negative charge. As a process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation, the holographic principle is in play here with the information of our three spatial dimensions of our everyday life written on the two-dimensional surface like a hologram. The area of a sphere is equal to the square of the radius of the sphere multiplied by 4 pi. At the smallest scale of the process, this is seen as a square of probability formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light. Mathematically, this information is represented by the quantum wave particle function or probability function. The quantum wave particle function of quantum mechanics expands out as an inverse sphere forming one universal process with both the electromagnetic force and the gravitational force using the inverse square law. Quantum uncertainty, electrical potential and gravitational potential 
are all part of one universal process. In this theory, the future is unfolding, photon by photon, with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons, acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. This forms a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. Because the information is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy, the process itself is spontaneous and needs no programmer. But we need life to decode the information into knowledge. But the information itself will naturally form with the laws of physics as part of a dynamic geometrical process that is formed by energy and momentum. The reason why we have such great diversity of information is that the process is relative to the complexity of the atoms of the periodic table and the different wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. This is why color is based on the wavelength of light. All the information we receive by the colors of the rainbow is based on the dynamic geometry of this process. At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking, with the electron being the most spherical object in the universe. We have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere that in this theory represents an infinite number of potential future timelines. As part of an interactive process, this forms an infinity of possibilities and opportunities, with creation being in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.